video, I was just appalled and I was sobbing uncontrollably. The torture that this dog was enduring it just broke my heart. Now at eight, the violent beating of this little dog was shared on social media. The video is graphic. A Cron 4 News viewer told us about this disturbing video and wants the people responsible caught. We should tell you that the dog is okay now with authorities. Cron 4's Justine Waldman has the story you'll see only on Cron 4. With a belt, a man beats a 10-month-old Shih Tzu puppy until the dog wails in pain. Then comes a quick kick. The person who posted this video has deleted it from Instagram. When I saw the video, I was just appalled. So upset, this Cron 4 News viewer does not want us to show her face or use her name. She tells me she is outraged someone could unleash such anger on a puppy. And worse, it takes a special person to actually be able to film something like this and then post it for everyone to see. I was actually afraid that the dog may have actually died during this event. For one thing, you have to make sure it's not a hoax video. Sergeant J.D. Nelson tells me the Alameda County Sheriff's Office is now investigating the abuse. After being alerted about the video, Animal Control did a welfare check and took the owner's two dogs as a precaution. They are now being cared for at the Tri-Valley Animal Shelter in Dublin. According to the people that took the dogs today, they said the dogs did appear to be in good shape uh, and very healthy and ribbons in their hair and and everything, so it didn't outwardly show any signs of neglect. On Twitter, the person who posted the disturbing video defends the beating, writing, quote, she ate my mom's $300 sandals. Blank, yeah, she got her blank beat. The truth is, y'all don't even know the terrors that dog does in my house. She deserved it, if anything. And some people don't know the difference between animal cruelty and being disciplined. Some of those posts have now been removed. And I really want people to be aware of this and we need to take this type of abuse serious. Here is a picture of the puppy from the violent video. Her name is Lovey. She's fine and authorities will keep her until it's clear she will never get treated like this again. I'm glad that they're safe. It makes me hopeful that they'll finally have a life that they deserve. It is the person who beat the dog, not the person who took the video, who could face animal cruelty charges if arrested. That's a felony. I did reach out to the person who took the video, and he told me he would rather not comment. And it was a Cron 4 News viewer like you who told us about this story. If you have something you think that we should look into, you can reach us on Facebook, Twitter, or our website, cron4.com.